Without further ado, here we go. Hmm. Well, unsurprisingly, not much has happened. Just because you publish an online store doesn't mean people flock to it immediately. In this video, I'm gonna be promoting the online woodworking store, and I'm also gonna be adding the third product to the celery top shop a cutlery holder. Okay, this is the cutlery stand that I'm gonna be basing it on. I made this a few years ago. It started life as a pot plant, but then turned into a cutlery stand by necessity. So I'm gonna be using the same dimensions because in practice I know it works. And in case anyone asks, this is a notebook from Matt Esley. You can pick them up on a store. Very cool, very cool quality. Highly recommend. I was feeling really good about this product because it was the perfect blend of necessary function and simple design. That meant it was cheap to batch out, so the cost was low, but it was still a good looking piece. Four side walls glued together, then another panel on the bottom. I pulled out the drum sander for this because I was finding the knotty grain of the celery top pine was chipping out a bit, and because I don't want to be sorting through the boards and taking time on that, this tool was a good solution. I had planned on putting dowels in the corners for a little extra strength, but by this stage, I felt like I understood the brief of the shop and this entire journey. Keep it simple, keep the cost down. I'm gonna now flatten one face so I can glue a piece onto it. That'll be the bottom panel. In the meantime, I've also been working on a coaster idea. I've got some celery top pine and some northern silky oak glued together. Glue them 90 degrees to each other, so it's essentially two plies, and that'll be a coaster. This can go for as low as 15, maybe even $10, and that'll get people into the store and looking at the rest of the products. I'm upstairs now in the kitchen to take photos of the products, and I'm using this kitchen island bench as a set. I actually made this kitchen island bench, and I've got a video for it if you wanna check it out. I'm using mostly natural light, so behind me is the key light, those windows are fill, and then above me is some more fill from those LED lights. And then in terms of the actual photos, I'll take at least two different angles of each product, and then I'll look for the hero shot. And what I mean by that is, with this coaster, this point where these two pieces of silky oak intersect, that's the detail that I wanna show off. It might not be anything hugely spectacular, but this is the interesting point of this product. And then from here, I'll import the photos onto my Mac, where I'll run them through preview, where there's an auto adjust function. And that'll be all I do to the photos. I wanna spend as little time as possible on these because in my opinion, the potential buyer just wants to see what the product looks like, not how good my photo editing skills are. All right, so that is a total of four products now available for sale. I'm listing them on Facebook Marketplace and on my website, so there's two lanes of potential sales. Hopefully now it's just a case of waiting and I should get some orders coming through soon. But they never did. It's been two weeks and I have not made one sale. Not one. So I need to fix this. All right, I'm dressed for the job. Time to get on to sales. Yeah, no, it's way too hot in tropical North Queensland for this. And so for the next two weeks, I forgot about the workshop and concentrated solely on selling. I started by creating a promo video that explained the shop and where the wood came from. And I put that out on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And it was relatively well received. Sometimes I think my wife wonders what I do down here. Next up, I mentioned it on our fortnightly podcast, the Shop Store podcast. Just one more plug, um, celerytopshop.com.au. Yeah. Um, hang on, hang on, Robin, are you, are you paying us for this? <laughs> After that, I contacted some of my old clients that I've done work for here in Townsville in the past. Firstly, just to let them know that I'm back in town and able to do work for them, but also to see if these products were something that they would be interested in. I also sent one of the tea boxes to the guy who helped me organize all of this wood in Tasmania as a thank you, but also as a way of testing the order process on the website and everything went smoothly. And finally, there was a lot of hard sell on Instagram, just talking about the shop, making sure to post the link and just make as many people as I know aware that it exists. So after two weeks of solid head down sales, working on any avenue that I can think of to try and promote the website, to generate orders, I can sit back and look at a grand total of zero sales. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really thought I was gonna have more sales and I wanted it to be a video that had a 
big finale where I win in the end. But uh, it just didn't work out like that. And I guess this is something to consider if you're gonna go down this avenue is the old saying of build it and they will come isn't always guaranteed. And I'm completely aware of the big picture. The store was always supposed to be a passive project where I'll build the products and they'll sit there and I might sell one a month and that's okay. At the end of the year, at Christmas time, I'll do another push because people will be spending money then so hopefully I'll get some sales then. But for now, I'm gonna be putting all of this on hold. The shop will still be open and I will still be selling things in the background and if anything interesting comes up, I'll be sure to make a video about it. But I set out to create an online store with some products that were available for purchase and I've done that. If you stuck around this long in the video, I really appreciate it. If you haven't seen the first part, this is the third video in a playlist. So if you are looking at going on an adventure like this yourself, there are three videos walking through the different steps that I went through and you might find that helpful.